Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm going to be sending out some frigate missions, and then I'm going to have to adjourn for a little bit, and then come back and debrief them. So let's jump in and let's see which missions are available to run. Well, hello there, chappy. Yes, I want to view your expeditions. Yes, they've renewed. Fantastamondo. So what I'm going to be doing is sending out at least one organic vessel um, I might not bother sending the S-Classy ones because they're already S-Class. So I'll send out this guy, and I'll send out um, a pirate and another pirate. There we go. And, you know, I'll stick one more organic vessel in there, and uh, we'll send another pirate. There we go. Chicka-boom. And away they go. Zoom. Cool, yeah. Right, okay. Well, we'll do another balanced one. 31 minutes. I think the longest mi mission is a two-hour one there. We'll save that one till last. Right, well, I put in an organic vessel. Pirate, pirate, pirate. And another pirate. There we go. Off you go. Hopefully at least one of those might level up. Because that's another thing I'm doing ambiently too, as well as wanting to bring back some living shippy type stuff. I'm also hoping that these ships all level up too. So, you know, makes sense to try and get them all on there if possible. Pirates, there we go. Whole fleet of pirates along with the organic vessel. I'm hoping that one is the lead ship in a roundabout way. Hopefully it doesn't overly matter. Right, so this one here. Kaboom. And I'm going to be sending organic. Organic. I'll send the three organics there. And we'll send an S-Class. There we go. Pirate one. We'll see how that one does with all those organics in. And the last one, the two-hour one, I'm just going to put all of the S-Classy ones in there. We've got two organics and one pirate. There we go. Let's we'll see how that one does. Right, so basically I've got two hours and a half, roughly, let's just say that, before I have to come back and reconvene, and we're going to debrief all of these. So I'll just hit a save here. But here's all of my consoles just past my uh, teleporter there. And as you can see, they're all fully loaded, locked and done, apart from one, which is cool. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, people, we'll get some decent stuff this episode. Cool, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea, go do a bit of work and stuff. But look, we've got here some new merch. Assistant No Man's Sky merch. Yes, I picked it up at the old uh, meetup. Thank you very much. Uh, Assistant No Man's Sky, thank you very much there, Kurt. Very much appreciated, sir. Anyway, I'll be back soon. Jumps. It looks like they're all green. So let's go start the debriefing, shall we? So this was the last one to actually complete. Got it out. Request mine dump. Let's have a look what we get. Are we going to... Oh, we got one corruption. What are we going to get? We got the psychnotic egg. Guess anything else. Another corruption. Another psychnotic egg. We're not getting many of these spawning sacks, are we? And so, yeah. We've got a sack venom. That's not what we're after. Heck no. Lovely. We've got some lovely, uh, rarey bits, but there we go. Sweet. Okay, let's head on over to this one, then. Sweet. So we'll get inside of here on the debrief. Request mine dump. Oh, we've got a corrupt psychnotic egg. So we've got a fair few of these psychnotic eggs. But we definitely aren't getting many spawning sacks. Let's see if we get some inside of here. Idiom. Oh, spawning sack times two. When, when I got them yesterday, I got times two as well. So we've got another two today, people. Okay, cool, yeah. Well, they are there. I am getting them. It's just quite rare. Okay, so here we go. Got one living ship in this one. Let's have a look, see. Psychnotic egg. Right. Nice, just salt. Relatus, okay. Got one in there. I didn't pay much attention to the holograms to see how many living ships was in that one where I got the spawning sack. There's only one in this grouping. I think it had a few more than one, didn't it? Maybe that's the trick. Put a couple of your living frigates in one batch. Hmm. Okay, alright. Well, we've got something I can aim for tomorrow. 
Maybe I'll try putting two living frigates in each batch of missions that I send out, maybe. Right, let's go and hit up a save on here. And let's see how we're doing now. I think we've got four of them now. Which isn't a great deal, even still. We've got four to eight. So you're twice as likely to get one of these psychotic eggs as you are getting these spawning sacks. Well, I do want to continue doing this before I hatch them. Now, a lot of people have told me that as soon as they hatched, biogenified these things, they got that pearl for the living technology, you know, for landing your, your living ship on water almost immediately. It's been the first tech they've got. So, yeah, I think I probably will get it as soon as I start hatching them, but we shall see. My freighter itself, I, I could do with getting some better technology modules in here, couldn't I, really? I could do with doing some derelict freighter runs to get the uh, modules in so these freighter missions go a little bit quicker, to be honest. But um, you know what? I'm still doing the pulse fishing inside of the system. I haven't got no missions I can do here right now. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs, pick up my living ship, and we're going to do a little bit of pulse fishing now, people. So, where is my living shippity 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 ship? <laughs> where are you, living ship? Is it even in... I don't even think it's in the hangar right now. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just make sure that it's still about. There we go. There's my living ship. We got my living ship right there. All right, well, let's uh, fly back out then, people. Let's uh, do some pulsing, shall we? Right, oh, so I was doing this the other day. I've got a whole video just on this pulse fishing technique on how to get modules for your living ship. You have to be in your living ship to do this. And any second now, let's go. Well, that's weird. It was showing a freighter for sale there. No, I don't want to buy a frigate. I thought you could only have 30 in your um, fleet. I've got 30. I'm pretty sure I've got 30. I've got a, I've got a badge pop up to say. You've now got 30 in your fleet. You're now a captain or something. Oh, I'll fly over here. I'm going to see if we get the um, alien melody. It probably won't because I got interrupted by that frigate zooming in. So I might have to go into the station, do a reload of my save, and then fly back to my freighter. Yeah, there we go. Let's fly on in then. Let's see if we can get it to restart its... Whoa! Shenanigans. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Right, so I'm gonna land here. Jump out of my ship. Lovely jubbly. And all I'm gonna do is go over here and just do a, a reload of that auto save, people. Cool, yeah. And then we'll try pulsing back towards my freighter and see if we get the alien melody. Right now, let's give it a go. Fly on out. Zoom! Spin it around to my freighter. Pulse! And let's see if it triggers the melody of the egg this time, people. Hopefully it does, because I still need a bit more technology to kit out my ship. Fly like the wind, my captain. Hopefully. Uh, any second now, should pop up. I'm hoping that they do something about all these lines. Oh, here we go. When it goes over to YouTube, it's not pixely. It's a YouTube thing, not a Hello Games thing, though. Here we go. And let's see if we get a second one before we get back to my capital ship. Sweet. Boom. And the second one. Lovely jubbly. Fly aboard my freighter, make another auto save, fly back again, you know? And I'll just do this a couple of times. Oh, before I actually make a save, though, let's just uh, get in the doorway of my freighter. While it's landing, I might as well install those things as soon as the tractor beam initiates for landing, that is. There we go. Right, so... Brain? Oh, that's now fully upgraded. And what's this one? This is like the warp engines. I think that's going to break the technology. Oh, no, it hasn't. Okay. Okay. Um, where's that one going to go then? There. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. Well, that's a bit squiffy. I'll stick that over there. 
And I've got one more slot there. Okay, right. Let's jump on out. Make the save. Cool. Then all I do is just do the reload. Cool, yeah. But jumps, I think I can kind of do this in my own time, see whatever technology items I get. I think at some point, though, I'm going to have to start dismantling some. It's, it's going to be a bit tricky to get the last few that I'm after, I think. Uh, we shall see. And then I'm not too sure what else you get inside the psychotic eggs when you do biogenesis. Maybe they've put some other modules in there since the last I did this. Don't know. But anyway, people, thank you for watching in the view of us. And I'll see you again soon. I guess I will. Yeah, and if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. Again. Ooh, got another pulsating heart there. Anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us.